Railway's greatest days are being recalled tonight after a flying visit through our region of two famous old iron horses. The two Class 38 loco locos united for the first time in more than a quarter of a century. It was a magnificent sight early this morning as locomotives 3801 and 3830 worked their way down the main line. and a face full of smoke was compulsory. Steve Tolsher has been driving heritage trains for 12 years and was back at the controls of engine 3830 again today. Well, I think nostalgia and, um, you know, we have a good time when we're here, we really enjoy it. And the men in the hot seat had to work hard, keeping the coal up to these mighty furnaces. It was the first time since 1973 that two 1940s 38 class engines have pulled a train together. Each massive engine weighs 200 tonnes and at times today they approached 110 kilometres per hour. Pulling carriages from the famous Southern Aurora, the engines are part of a nine day steam safari. And as they approached the rock, the scene was sleepy, but it soon changed. There was a brief lull at Yerong Creek where steam enthusiasts were lost for words as the engines painted a beautiful local backdrop with steam and smoke. It gets you in the heart, mate. It gets you in the heart. It gets you in the heart. It makes your hair stand up on the back of your neck when you see something like this going down the track. It really does. Then it was off again to the next scheduled stop at Henty. And 15 kilometres up the track, fans lined the rail for a glimpse of the historic moment. Both engines unhooked and took on water before rejoining the train to forge ahead to Albury and Melbourne. The Millennium Aurora certainly gave fans what they wanted. Many people will remember this day forever, the day they saw Australian railway history in motion. Sam Cunningham, Prime Local News.